guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did a contour and highlight video for you. This is my go-to contour and highlight when I'm trying to do something extra. This is like my version of full coverage just because I don't have like problematic skin. You can do the same exact look with just a different foundation because the one that I use is sheer and it doesn't, it's like not heavy coverage. But the concealer and the bronzer and the cream contour, that is, you can just pair that up with your foundation and it'll be golden. If you guys want to see how I created the look, then just please keep on watching. Okay guys, to begin with the video, I just want to go ahead and say that before you start to do your face, you always want to make sure that you already prepped it. That means washing, drying it, applying your moisturizer, and anything else that you guys do on your daily routine just because you want to make sure that the skin is prepped and ready to apply the foundation and there's no dry spots really it depends on your skin type obviously but you want to make sure that it's prepped then i always go in with like a luminous primer or a primer that adds like moisture or just something just to add more like moisture to the skin just because i do have drier skin around this time of the year Today I'm going to use the Becca Backlight Primer. This is one of my favorite primers. I use it all the time. I usually do one pump on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to go in with a uh, Sigma Foundation F60 brush. And I heat it up on the back of my hand. I work the product in. And I will apply it on the high points of my face. For me, this just makes it look extra dewy and luminous. And that's how I like my everyday foundation and contour to be is very glowy. I don't really want to apply it anywhere else, just to the center of my face. And I'll do a little bit of my cheekbones just to give it a little bit more of a highlight. You see how glowy it is and then when you pair it with the foundation it looks so beautiful. Now that that's been applied I'm just going to go in with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation um, in shade 5. Uh, I, I love this foundation. I usually take two pumps on the back of my hand and it depend, like depending on like what I'm feeling that day sometimes I'll take a brush. Um, the Morphe M439 is a really good brush just to kind of stipple it around the face and then going over it with a beauty blender but whatever your preference is a brush a sponge and i kind of just evenly distribute it throughout the face i like this foundation it's not heavy for me i don't have a lot of blemishes or um like discoloration in my skin to like need a heavier foundation i will use a heavier foundation but usually this is what my routine is man Kind of just in like padding motions. I want to go over this again. And you see how the primer is still peeking through? That's what you want. Now that I went over it with the brush, I just usually take a damn beauty blender and I just kind of pat all over my face to ensure that there's no lines or harsh, like harsh edges around. Next for contour, I will go with a cream contour. So since the video is about contouring today and highlight, I am going to go the full way. I'm just going to take the same uh, foundation brush, the F60, that I used to apply my primer, and I'm just going to take the Anastasia palette in light, and I'm going to take the color Java. And I'm just going to apply that. It's this color right here. And I'm just going to apply that wherever I would my contour, wherever the hollows of my cheeks are. So you can do a kissy face, you can suck in your cheeks. Whatever works for you. For me, I kind of just go like that. Just to show it. And you don't need to put a lot. And then when I contour my face, I always do the outer parts of my forehead just because I have a widow's peak. And 
For me, I like to blend the shadow down. And on the tip of my nose, under my lip, and I'll do a little bit on the top of my nose, just because I have a bump. And applying the shadow here kind of doesn't make it go away, but kind of minimizes it. And my jawline. And then I just take my beauty blender and I blend everything up into my hairline. So just kind of push it up. You don't want to be too harsh. Take your time and really take time to blend it out, especially the creams because this is what makes it look so natural and really gives the shadow effect. I'm just holding my baby hairs back. I have a lot, so sometimes I get mixed in with the product and I don't see like, look, just kind of push it back. I'm using the back end of my beauty blender, but you can use whatever you're comfortable with, honestly. You can also use the brush to blend this in. I like the beauty blender because it gives me the most natural effect. Since it still is like looking harsher on the neck area, the jawline, I'm just gonna take the brush and kind of lightly go over it. Just to blend it out a little bit more seamlessly. And we can also do the bottom lip. I love doing the bottom lip. It just gives, makes your pout appear so much bigger. And then I usually go in with my concealer and I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape like I always do in light sand and I will kind of just use a generous amount. This is really high coverage so I'm going to do one eye at a time just because this is a really drying concealer. I'll take my beauty blender. And just blend it out. And then I'll take the color Light Neutral from the Urban Decay Weightless Concealer. And the, chart, the Tarte Shape Tape doesn't really have my shade, that's why I'll mix it. I'll just take that, kind of do a few lines on the face, just to even out everything. Take my beauty blender and go over it with that. Now that that side is all blended out, I'm going to set it really quickly just so I don't crease. I use the translucent powder from Laura Mercier and I just dip my damn beauty blender in it. Kind of try to make it to where I don't have any creases and just go over that like so. And around the nose, you want to make sure that there's no creases on the nose either. And then I take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'll put it on my chin. Just because sometimes I get oily and my concealer will come off. So 
So, and then I'm still gonna put the weightless concealer over it. Just because it gives a little bit more color back to my life so I don't look dead. And then I kind of do three lines going up my head. And again with the weightless concealer. I know it seems like a lot of steps, but I swear after this is completed, your face looks so flawless. It looks fake. Like legit. And You also want to blend this up into the hairline because you want everything to blend seamlessly. And then the powder again. Just kind of set the forehead. You want to be so relaxed when you set the forehead because if you like lift up your eyebrows or like you're like me, you kind of like always make facial expressions, you will crease really quickly. So you want to set that right away. And then I just take one more time the Tarte Shape Tape and I will lightly, just very lightly kind of, the tip right here. I won't do the bump, I'll just do the tip and then the tip right here. Just like that. And then I blend that out. And you want to set that also. And now that that is all baking and setting into the skin, I'm going to take a, what brush do I want to use today? I'll take the MAC 100. I think that's what it is. Not the MAC 100. It's just like a little contour brush like this. And I like to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is what I use all the time to contour, if you can't tell. And I'm going to take the lightest shade in the palette. Um, subconscious, I think it's that one. It's the lighter one. And I just put my brush in it, tip off the excess. And first I'll start by going over the cream contour in a patting motion. And you always wanna pat up. And then very lightly, using a really light hand, you want to start to blend it. You don't want to move, because you don't want to move around the foundation that's underneath. So you lightly kind of brush it up into the hairline. Now wherever I apply the cream contour, I'm going to go over it with Subconscious, yeah, I think that's what it was. Subconscious with, from Kat Von D. You always wanna take it down your neck too. And always under the lip, I love this part. Hmm, okay. And now that that's all completed, I'm just going to take a powder brush. This one is old, it's um, a Sephora brand, but any powder brush will really do. And you kind of just dust away everything that was baking. Usually I take my, um powder brush and just kind of go over the contour in the cheeks just to make sure it looks not natural but like not so harsh either I'll kind of go over it but then just to clean up my contour I always bake underneath it just to make the line a little bit sharper so I'll take my sponge and the Laura Mercier powder again and kind of just draw a line Right down my face. I'm 
Do I? And then wipe it off right away because I don't want to make it too harsh. I just wanted to clean it up a little bit. And for a highlight, I use usually two different brushes. I'll use the Morphe 501 or I have the Sephora fan brush. I go back and forth with these two just because I think they're perfect for applying my highlight. And yeah. So today, I'm just going to go run some errands. So today I'm not going to go anything crazy, but I'm going to take, so I'm going to take Sunray and Snow. I'm going to mix these two together. And this is the Ultimate Glow Glow Kit from Anastasia. I'm just going to do lightly for both. Mix them together and spray a little bit of Naked Urban Decay setting spray on the brush. And today I'm using the Morphe 501. I'm just going to take that and pick up my mirror and just highlight all the high points. I'm just going to take it down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and the high points of my cheeks. I'm going to apply this before I apply my blush, just because sometimes I'll do that just so the blush looks more natural. And then for blush, I use this blush brush from Sonia Kashuk. I bought it like eight years ago. I can't find another copy of it. If I do, I will link it in the description box below. But I'm just going to take Mac and Peaches. And I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. I'm just going to do that fake smile that everyone does when they apply their blush. And I'll kind of take it back and up. I focus it mainly on the apples. And I'll kind of just blend it up. And then using the same brush, I'll take, usually I take Sun Bunny by um, Too Faced and I will bronze up my face or I take the hula. Since I have the hula right next to me, I'm going to take hula and kind of, not contour, but bronze up the face. Kind of go over the blush. I just, I don't know, I like how this looks on my skin. So this is what I do. A little trick is also if you apply too much blush to one point of your face, you just can take a powder brush and kind of just go over it. And it will diffuse the color a little bit. Okay, and then last but certainly not least, I'm going to spray my face using the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. And it's really important because you want it to lock your makeup in place and it really blends everything out and makes it look like your natural skin. Not natural as in like you're not wearing makeup, but makes it look like it's just not sitting on top of your skin, that it's blended in with your skin. So if you don't have a setting spray, I highly recommend you to get one. So I'm just going to take it and kind of just spray it all over my face. I kind of go crazy with it. I just love the feeling after sitting down doing your makeup the whole time and then spraying something cold on it. It feels so good. So I go a little bit crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face and then I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, this is the final look. If you guys have any questions, you can comment down below. You can always inbox me on Instagram or Snapchat as well if you guys need to know anything. And yeah, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.